Good evening, Azeroth, and welcome to episode 137 of the World of Goldcraft. I'm back! Um, I've been uh, super busy lately with my real life, uh, with my day job, sadly. Um, it's been crunch time up until yesterday, but now I'm back um, and can finally record another show, as you might be able to hear from my voice. I've also had a little bit of a cold. Um, still actually on the tail ends of that, which is why I'm recording this offline today and not doing it live on Twitch, because I'm just not up to streaming. But I'm up to recording, so we'll do that, and um, hopefully you'll still enjoy the episode. Now, as always, the podcast is made available by my patrons. That, amongst other things, can get access to all episodes, um, well, can I get access to all of the posts I post on the lazygoldmaker.com. Seven days ahead of time, so if you're interested in that, head on over to patreon.com slash the lazygoldmaker. So... What are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about uh, two things. We're going to talk about the 9.1.5 PTR news, uh, what's coming there, what that means, whether or not it means anything for gold making yet. And we're going to talk about um, the collapse in Corthite crystal prices. That happened, well, it was actually two weeks ago, but I've been a little bit uh, not focusing so much on gold making the last week, so um, I'm a little late to the party, so we're, I'm going to share my thoughts on that as well. But first things first, of course, Blizzard started dropping loads of information about 9.1.5 this week, and uh, for, an, for a 0.5 patch it's looking pretty juicy, um, for, as far as like the overall state of the game. Um, as expected, there's not much in terms of direct gold making changes. Like you would never get new recipes or new materials or anything like that in a 0.5 patch. Um, and obviously, we're not getting any of that. But uh, there are some changes that are going to be relevant to the game. The main thing 9.1.5 adds is, is a very large number of uh, various uh, quality of life changes related to swapping your covenants, uh, the conduits, um, and just making sure that it's easier to optimize your character uh, at any given point in time through all of the various systems of the Shadowlands. This is something that a lot of players um, have been wanting for a very long time. This has been feedback that's been given since the beta by at least a significant portion of the player base that this is something that they really, really want. Um, so that's really good news that they're making that change because this is something that's going to bring back a lot more positivity to the game. More people are going to be likely happy. We're, we should also see probably quite a few people make a return to 9.1.5 because a lot of the things that they are changing are specific pain points that people are at least claiming as the reason for why they quit the game. Um, so I think that 9.1.5 will bring back a lot of players, which is great because more players... That means more gold moving through the auction house every single day, which means it's easier to get a portion of that stream of gold into your own pockets, um, typically. The more players are playing, the more players are engaging with the systems, the gameplay of the current expansion, the more profit and gold there is on the auction house. Like, there's never as easy a time as making gold as at the beginning of an expansion, because everyone is dying to get their hands on all the new stuff. Um, so more players is just better. Um... Other changes that are coming, uh, we have the addition of Legion M+, plus, Mythic+, plus from Legion, uh, in the form of time walking. Um, I don't think that's going to be huge in any way in terms of gold making impact, unless we are scaled down. If we're scaled down, then we might see some weird, like maybe the um, some of the legendaries from Legion, the crafted legendaries, maybe some specific items that have unique effects make a return. Uh, but I do think, to me, it seems more likely that they're scaling the Legion instances up to level 60 and Shadowlands power level, which seems much easier to me. Um, because then they have all of the numbers of other M plus dungeons to compare to. Um, and uh, that just seems like a much easier way to go about it, which would mean that it's just going to be like when time walking is up, you have more dungeons because you can also do the, um, the, um, the time walking M plus. Um, and that's pretty much it, and there's no other like significant impact from that. Uh, now, one change that we already uh, knew about for a little while is the solo island expeditions are coming. You can finally queue solo for island expeditions across all difficulties. Um, and obviously we should expect to see prices on, on most of the island expedition gear go down. Uh, with that change, it's now much easier to farm them. You don't need to find a group of three people who also want to farm island expeditions to um, go farm there. You can just go there by yourself and blast some expeditions and get some transmog and mounts. 
Uh, definitely we'll see a, a short-term price decrease as a lot of people go back into the expeditions to like grind out some mine mounts or this is also coming during the time of the patch where we're in like a content lull there's nothing much going on in terms of nine point uh in terms of end game content we're still just doing m plus or progressing sanctum of domination if you're still there um so a lot of people are probably primed to do some cosmetic farming and just head back get work on some of the mounts and have a chance of getting some valuable sellable transmog as well um how long that will last that's the question um the the items from the island expeditions have been an incredible gold mine since i bought most of mine at the end of bfa um long term i don't really see that many people farming island expeditions so i think that we'll see like a very increased activity um just after 9.1.5 and we should probably see expect prices to hit um some kind some low point a little while after the patch who knows exactly when um and then eventually it'll probably bounce bounce back up again now depending on how close the patch is we might even see prices start going down already um as players realize that uh, players who have a significant amount of stock of items might realize that even if you're selling it at the 20 percent um discount to whatever the max price is right now it's probably going to be a lot cheaper than that when 9.1.5 rolls around um i personally haven't made any adjustments yet i'll just sit on mine and, and sell them at whatever the price is um i can't be bothered micromanaging it but uh, if you can probably you can make um maximize the value of your stock a little bit um, I, I'll definitely be looking to buy up more stock uh, at some point after the patch uh, because I don't think that long term people are going to spend that much time in the expeditions and down the line for instance when uh, 9.2 rolls around people are going to be busy doing M plus doing raids not focusing on their cosmetic collections there'll be fewer people doing expeditions for sure everyone's going to be grinding the new zones whatever we get to 9.2 um, and uh, then we should see prices start going up again now the last thing I wanted to talk about that's coming is the legendary scrapper. Finally, we can scrap legendaries. I've been wanting this for a while. I've even talked about this on the podcast in the past. Um, we don't know exactly how it works yet. It's not testable yet. Um, but you do know that you get back the full soul ash and soul cinders cost, which is great. Um, we don't know if you get any materials back or if you get the base legendary back i'm assuming you don't get the base legendary back but maybe you get some of the materials that might be the case um this will definitely lead to an increase in demand for legendaries assuming we don't get the full base item back um i'm definitely gonna expect a lot of people to want to swap their legendary in 9.1.5 because they will be tuning both specs and covenants which can change the balance so if your new if your class's best spec in mythic plus is a new spec you haven't really played or you where you haven't crafted the mythic plus legendary yet you might want to scrap your current m plus legendary at rank six and then craft a new one and then you don't have to farm torgas to get it um and then eventually you'll get enough soul cinders maybe to craft both um but definitely around the time of 9.1.5 launching we should see some some increased demand for rank six in particular mostly for rank six i don't think it makes too much sense to scrap anything below that uh obviously rank five is just uh, a completely pointless uh, addition to the game i don't even understand why it exists um and for rank four you have so much soul ash i think most people have all of the rank fours they want anyway um so i don't really see people scrapping those but i do, do see people scrapping rank sixes for specs that are no longer their best option for a given content type so if there's a new single target king in town you may want to craft that and scrap your old one um and that's definitely something that we'll uh we'll see between now and then i think prices on all legendary related materials and i uh, and legendaries themselves are going to trend downwards so I wouldn't buy yet. I wouldn't start uh, investing materials uh, yet. But we should definitely see a a good bump in sales for 9.1.5. And it's probably going to be bigger than it was for the 0 0.5 patch. Where we also had the balance changes. So a lot of people wanted to, to swap their legendaries around for the uh, the new specs and that were now the best options. Um, but we don't know if how much we'll see of that for, for 9.15. Uh, so... That's it for um, for what I wanted to talk about for the new patch. And now we're going to go into the uh, the other thing. The collapse of Corthite Crystals. So about two weeks ago, the price of Corthite Crystals absolutely collapsed overnight because Blizzard applied a hotfix. 
Um, and this is interesting because the hot fix made it so it dropped increased numbers of quartzite crystals from a lot of the weekly activities and caches and stuff. And uh, the change was pretty incredibly fast. Overnight, the quantity on my realm went from 3,000 quartzite crystals available for sale to 12,000. And the price pretty rapidly collapsed from seven, about 1,700 gold to 400. And this was not just because we got slightly or we got more quartzite crystals. Um, there's a different. There's a couple of factors that led to the cascade that just blasted the price downwards. Um, and part the catalyst was, of course, the fact that Blizzard increased the rate of quartzite crystals. That means more supply. That means the prices are going to go down. Um, and then people very quickly realized that if you have quartzite crystals lying about that you're not planning to do anything with except sell then you should post them right away to get them before the price has gone down too much or try to sell them as at the current price so, so that means everyone is now running to the auction house to post, post their quartzite crystals as soon as this news is public and then uh, so that's the that's the first part and then the other part of it people who are buying quartzite crystals who's buying quartzite, quartzite crystals some people who are just buying enough materials to craft their legendary and get someone in their guild to do it are buying. But for the most part, it's people like me. It's the gold makers, the goblins, the big time legendary crafters. We're the mo ones who are mostly buying. And buying a material, a crafting material that's currently collapsing in price is very risky. I don't like doing that. Uh, I'm, I want to wait until it's actually stabilized at some lower price point. Um, so a lot of buyers, unless like you desperately needed to restock, you would decrease your purchasing quantities significantly, because you don't don't want to sit around with a thousand quartzite crystals bought at a thousand gold, and then two days later it's four hundred gold per, and you're now losing gold hand over fist selling your legendaries because you bought your quartzite crystals too early. Um, so a lot of the big time goblins. Particularly the ones who already have a lot of stock. I have loads of legendaries on the auction house. I have a good backlog of quartzite crystal. I don't need to buy. I'm going to stop buying until the price is stabilized. So then you have everyone running to post their quartzite crystals and very few people buying. Very few people. Some people are still going to be buying, but not many. And that's how you go from, even though the rate was about doubled from the sources they doubled the, the acquisition rate from, the available quantity quadrupled it went up by a factor of four and the price went down by a factor of four on my realm um so that's how that happens uh, the buyers just leave uh for a while and then we wait and then once it stabilizes then we start buying again and what usually also happens there is that for a while the price is now actually a little bit below what the market can support and that happened like the pr price bottomed out at about 300 uh, slightly less than 300 gold per quartzite crystal it's now stabilized at 400 gold on my realm um, because people are just still panic selling for a while it takes a while to understand when we've actually hit bottom um, and it might be because some goblin just runs out of quartzite crystals uh, in his backlog and he just needs to restock so now he just buys a chunk um, and suddenly that's a significant portion of the supply because it's not that much available for sale like 12,000 available on a high pop realm um, I often buy them in chunks of a thousand quartzite crystals when I need them um, so that's not that much in terms of, of large-scale goblin operations so um, the price will will hit a, a low point and then it'll bounce back after some event like this and then Players will uh, eventually stop panic selling, and we've now stabilized at about 400 gold. So that's interesting. Um, it's uh, definitely a sort of a, a study. And then, of course, the other thing that we didn't even mention so far is the fact that demand for legendaries, for rank 5 and 6 legendaries, has gone down. At this point, uh, anyone who wants it will have at least two rank 6 legendaries, which means that they're probably done for a while are definitely the next legendary they buy they're not willing to pay as much for. I have two rank 6s, I probably want some more, but I'm not paying 120k for uh, my third rank 6 legendary. Many casual players or players on the more casual side of the gold making spectrum won't even have that amount of gold to drop. They might be able to pull it together for one. They certainly won't be able to pay 100k for their second rank 6 legendary and they don't so they're not going to do that. 
until the prices go down to where they they can actually scrape together the gold. Um, so uh, that's um, that's also been a factor. Like that's also something that a lot of the buyers of quartzite crystals are aware of. They know that supply is or that demand is going down, as it always does with items like this. Um, and we don't want to get stuck holding a huge amount of supply that we purchased at too high of a price. Um, and so that's why it uh, sort of cascaded as quickly as it did, most likely. So um, that can definitely happen in the future as well. Hard to predict because you don't know when Blizzard is going to drop a hotfix like that. But when they do, man, it, it happens quickly. So guys... That's it. That's what I wanted to talk about on this episode. Uh, it's nice to be back in recording, even if I'm not live. Hopefully, I should be back doing this live next uh, Thursday, if I'm feeling well. Um, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, leave a like, leave a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel or subscribe to the podcast on your favorite podcast platform. And uh, we'll see you on the next episode. Goodbye, guys.